Here we go, here we go. We're live on Facebook. Here we go, here we go. How's everyone doing? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we are. We are here. Here it comes. And Facebook is live. How's everyone doing? Happy Monday evening to you all. Another week of lockdown in and uh, we're feeling it, feeling it. I'm feeling it today. Just had a nightmare just getting the children to bed. Mom. Absolutely crazy. How you doing, Mr. C. Fennin? Love you, mate. Claire's on. Claire's reactivated Facebook just to watch this interview. Chris Perkins is on. What an absolute legend. Chris has been uh, sending me some videos for isolation worship you'll see him on there soon the guy's got a base face of absolute steel it's kind of like yeah blue steel meets uh flea from red hot chili peppers who else is on here i can't see uh angela frost hey Ange. uh who else how are you doing guys what have you been up to today it's been a beautiful day but now I can see storm, storm clouds are brewing. Karen Mitchell's on the right. Karen? That's just not a name that you can say without a Suffolk accent, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, I hope, hope you guys are doing all right. Um, kind of changing up Music Mondays a bit. Well, it's never really hit a routine, to be honest. But um, sometimes we've had, like, external guests and stuff, and sometimes we've done some singing. Um, but I thought, like, for a bit or... Uh, maybe just this week I, I kind of wanted to like um hear some of the stories from people that you see like on stage every week like if you go to the forge and that so um we'll be doing some of that we'll just wait for a couple more people to hop on we've got a lot of people on today so must be doing something right or maybe it's just because we're a bit late who wants a shout out now um i've got i I've gotta warn you like this interview is is taking place in Suffolk, so there's a high chance we're going to lose connection here at some point. In fact, like we did a little run through, not run through, but just like make sure everything's working, and we lost it about three times. So you'll have to stick with us today. Steve Fennin wants a shout out. Steve Fennin, this is your shout out. Um, I just want to say that I'm a big fan of all your music. And that we should get you on for Music Monday and play some of the old tunes. I could do that, actually. I've got some of the old tunes saved on here for a rainy day. You're right, Trev. How are you doing, my friend? We'll get going in one minute. One minute. One minute warning. So if you want to go have a beer, uh, open a beer or whatever, um, we'll get going in, in one minute. What were some of the of the Steve Fennin hits? Because it kind of like before my time, but everyone tells me about them. But um, Steve, our senior leader at the Forge, used to be like I say, used to be it's quite a big name, um, quite famous, and he came out with some absolute cracking hits. I think I remember seeing a music video for one of them. I want to say it's like um, something about fire or, so, or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll post a link to it or something. What is it? Hearts on fire. That's it. Burning. Oh, what is it? I don't even know. Hearts on fire. Someone will be able to tell me in the chat. Uh, Jez would like a shout out. Jez, I loved your Forge Isolation Challenge a couple of weeks ago, mate. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. Someone that I aspire to. Cool. Well, Without further ado, then, as I say, if you've just joined us, we are. Um, I want to hear some of the stories, some of the people that you'll be seeing on stage every week at the Forge, or you were seeing every week on stage. And we had a stage at a church. Ooh. I'm not missing it at all. Um, but yeah, so Dan, are you there? Come join us. Hey. Hey, I'm here. Hello. You're right. I didn't realise you'd you'd isolated in a prison cell. Oh, honestly, honestly, the colours are not great in here. I need a bit of a 
redo of my walls, really. But you look great, man. The hair's looking me. good. Yeah, Mama Marsh, all on that. She props up yeah. to Emma Marsh when she watches it later. Yeah. Mate, I like, I genuinely thought of you when I dyed my hair. Oh, I don't know whether that's a compliment or an insult, really. I, well, I'm not really sure, like, um, I'm not really sure, like, what people think our relationship is anyway. I often think, like, that when we take, I'll often say, like, call you my son, innit? Because you look so young yeah. and I look so old. But not that we're that different apart in age. But there's also... Well, I like, thought you were, like, 46, right? Bit, <laughs> there's also a bit of a height difference as well, innit? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Um, Just a bit. I don't know. We share a lot of the same interests, actually. Yeah, yeah, we do. We we quite like we like our sports and we our music. So yeah, we get on quite well. Yeah. And like your kids are amazing. So oh, you're too. Kind. Remember one time when I when when we um when I had to squeeze in the middle of your seats between two booster seats, didn't I? Yeah. That was it. That was yeah, that's when the kids oh that's when the kid thing started, isn't it? Because I had Taylor and JJ in the back and you like squeeze in the middle because Kat comes singing me. Um I've got a good photo of that actually. That was like I'll see if I can pull it up actually. But Dan, what, what's what's lockdown look like for you, man? What have you been up to? Oh uh, honestly, it's like so I'm furloughed, so this I'm a supply teacher. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Literally life singing. Gosh, don't that just make you think yeah. of Corona when you see like just microphone shared? Like, like, tell me about it. There's yeah. Dan in the back. High quality <laughs> production here on these these things. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm I'm furloughed at the moment. I'm a supply teacher normally. So um at the moment I'm quite fortunate that I am furloughed because at one point I just didn't think I would be. Um, so at the moment, I'm just trying to build up my skills, do a load of online courses. It's quite it's quite difficult to step keeping a routine, but it's been all right. Yeah. Um, and it's and it's quite hard because uh, there's we're, I'm a part of a family of six, so quite a lot of control of the telly because we're all quite uh, early twenties teenagers. Fight so, fight the Wi-Fi. Who's on the Wi-Fi? Yeah. I need to do a Zoom with Ben Laskin. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have actually told them to get off the Wi-Fi tonight because I'm doing it. Exactly. So. Exactly. And they're all swearing <laughs> about you. Well, yeah. if yeah. any of those exactly. marshes are watching, I um, well, I, I I want you to come and interrupt basically. <laughs> if if Joe's watching, I want him to come tell a joke. Ben's wow. watching. I want him to come sing a song. <laughs> that uh, would be something. I, I think that, yeah, Ben, ben Marsh coming in and doing a song would be something else to get him on. Um, so, how are you and yourself? Are you feeling like are you struggling or like do you find it no, all right? I'm not struggling, no. I think that um, I'm personally just really ready for the next stage. Like, I'm just thinking about the stuff we're doing at this time. I'm like, come on, you understand why we're in this situation and what God's doing in this situation as well, mm. which is really important. Um, he's using, the, and like when I see church online and stuff and you guys are doing a brilliant job, I'm just really, I'm like impressed about how we've dealt with the situation yeah. that we're in. So, yeah. It's that's been what good. I'm, it's been like a real shaping time. We were just talking like before we come on air, like Dan's like been recording some music and stuff at home, like um, for us to use in church on Sunday. Like, how does it sound? It's like, well, awful. We don't know what we're doing, but <laughs> but we're learning, yeah. and we'll get it sounding yeah. alright on Sunday, I reckon. Yeah, but props to everyone who gets involved in that kind of stuff because it's completely different to what you're used to. Oh, mate, it's so like people think it's just like what we do but you film it and it's like nah, and when you see the comments on so different yeah oh man and when you see the comments in the mornings and it's all worth it isn't it because they're like yeah. so appreciative of what you guys are doing it's a, bun so, it's a vulnerable place to be though isn't it so um yeah of course it is but um yeah. so yeah for those of you that don't know like dan um is one of the music leaders at the forge um he plays keys as well 
um, is a better keys player than he is an acoustic player, but he refuses yep. to learn how to lead worship from the keyboard, which does so much work. harder. If anyone in the comments, please say that it, you would think it would be harder to learn on lead on keys than it is on I've learned off keys. Yeah, it's so hard. I just can't, I because I need to physically know where I am with the microphone at the same time. I think the individual roles are fine, but together it's just another level. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do get it. Sorry, it's just a, a man outside our house saluting me. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, so, um, go on then. So, to, on the, on, we've got a little set of questions that we like to ask. Yeah. Like, uh, what song for you was the hardest to learn? Because I've oh. got I've got a memory of one that you really battled with for me. On, if you if, the same one. If you go first, then I'll say what I think mine is. Because I guarantee you won't know what mine is. No, I, I probably don't. But one that I really remember you going down to the wire on was Dan was playing Keys Christmas two years ago, and Christmas at the Forge is like I say like oh. a big deal. It's not like it's not like we're a big deal, but it's like we hold ourselves to like a higher standard, I would say. Whether we should or not is a different question, but I would say that we do. And um, we was doing this uh, Christmas lights and at Coldplay. You're a massive Coldplay yeah. fan. And we were like, oh, we can do this in the key of G. That's brilliant because, you know, that's that's not hard. And um, But, oh, man, that song. And it had how many sort of time changes did it have? And... It, it had three different time changes oh. as well as kind of changing key at some point but staying with the same sort of chord it was ridiculous like honestly like and he he wrote that in half an hour apparently <sighs> ridiculous well, not even time to set up a metronome but you did get there but i was yep. stressing when i, I was stressing yeah, to get yeah, it when i was like bro <laughs> do not let me down on this like look like yeah, it was it much. was down to the wire to say the least wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> but you did oh, it you did it yeah yeah and you're quite a last minute dude anyway isn't it oh most certainly you you hate it you hate yeah, yeah. Last minute. but we work all right together go on there yeah. what would you say then is that up there for you it's up there so while i was at uni i went to a quite a big church probably three times the size of a forge congregation normally on a sunday morning or an afternoon yeah um and it was in it was in derby it's called community church derby they've changed now um, but there was a load of curly people who, and so the pastoral team came up to me and went, would you mind, um, learning this Kurdish song for me? No way. Yeah. Um, and it's like their Christian kind of anthem. And I was like, yeah, that should be fine. Well, knowing the, it was one of these churches that you turn up at eight o'clock and then you get given the set list. You yeah, know those kind of churches, right? yeah, no. um, and um, so I got given it, looked at the chords, and I was like, "There's no progression in these chords." Like I'm used to, like your one, your four, your five, and yeah, your six minor. That similar, kind of stuff yeah. for music. That's how you do your music kind of stuff. And yeah. I was like, "How am I meant?" No, it just doesn't sound right. But and then everyone like so it was really struggling, and they did it in seven eight. And I was like, what? Mm. So the drummer was struggling. I'm meant to be leading it in it? Kurdish. Sorry? You're singing this? I'm singing it in Kurdish. They've got like the English translation for Kurdish. It was absolutely unbelievable. Come on, like, mate. Give us, don't, give us a bit Please then. don't let me do it. Sorry? Give us a bit No, then. I forgot. I've forgotten it. Sorry. Yeah, it's just... No, gone well, hey, you haven't. Have they oh, got uh, a live stream or something we can check out the archive on? I reckon you could. About... Two years ago, I reckon I was leading that then. Come on, but mate. Yeah. Give, us little, give us a little oh, song. Although, honestly, I cannot remember it. And I'm being genuine. That's one of those songs that just... You know when there's, like, songs in your system that come in the church and go out? That just went in one ear, went out mate, the other, I, honestly. I remember this. I'm sad. I remember this stuff. If it, if I've learned it, I've learned it. That's it. You're like Nathan I Wallace with the That's, yeah. like, honestly... That's why I kind of really struggled to practice is because um, I'll learn something like pretty hard once and then like it's just in there 
and yeah. that's, that's the problem so if I learn something wrong <laughs> just, uh, plenty, yeah, just plenty of things um, yeah. yeah man uh, so what is then if that's your nightmare what is your favourite song to lead at the forge or when you're like leading music Reckless Love absolutely Reckless Love, love you like yeah, no, I know that people have like kind of... You can't of, play that on guitar. You don't know what? your in shapes. No, I don't know my ease. Would you, like, would you have to do that on like Capo 18 or something? Yeah, something like that. No, I, I absolutely love it. I think that the lyrics are just stunning for it. And yeah. like there is a bit of theology debate with people, but I just think if you properly look at the theology of that song, like... Leaving the, leaving the 99 for the one it's all about him coming after us being all for us that abandoning love for us I just think that it's so good and the build in it when you get into the bridge is just something else for me yeah. coming after me Indeed. yeah I love it drum break at the end if you feel it yeah. yeah exactly for all those drummers that we've got yeah, I know, isn't it? Um, guys, if you've got questions like for me or Dan, like get them coming in, we'll answer anything. Yeah, Thank you, Dan. yeah I'll answer anything. Well, yeah. Especially <laughs> when you go on a date with me, Dan will answer that pronto. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, my next question for you, mate, is uh, what's a song by an artist that you look up to? Christian, Ooh. non-Christian, anything, man. So, non-Christian, um, I love this artist called Dermot Kennedy. He's coming oh, up and up no, and coming. You you talk about him more than Jesus, honestly. No, I don't. no but I do love this guy. Um, you are supposed to be there last month, I guess, weren't you? And that's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been postponed till September, but I don't think that'll happen. No, um, can't see it happening, mate. No. Um, so, there's a song called All My Friends, and it's just... It's like really powerful and he's and he's got like a really good raspy voice. And um Are we talking about sort of Lewis Capaldi vibes, but a bit more like avant-garde. He's, yeah, he's 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 a very mix of styles because I would say he's pop with a bit of R and B with a with like really a lot of soul in his voice at the same time. So yeah, and, and he's Irish, which always helps. Nice. So yeah, so yeah, I love like- Anything by him at the moment I go to. Um, and I start, I look up to in like Christian circles, like like there are so many. Like I can't really I love the elevation I mean, stuff. Dan, I think, you pretty much look up to everyone at your right, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, very true. Good one. Thanks. Keep them in the comments, keep them coming. Love them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that anything like that, I just Elevation worship, like before that, like I used to love Cornerstone. What are your thoughts like on the blessing? The blessing is brilliant, straight out of scripture, just a stunning. Thing in a chain, thing in a chain. Yeah, oh, just awesome. Thing is about Dan, right? Is if um, if you don't know, so I'm just t- turning my notifications off here because people are starting to message me and that. Um, yeah, the thing is about you, Dan, is like I properly trust your music, your music knowledge and your music taste. Not in terms of like um, musical knowledge, if that makes sense, but knowledge of music. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Like you can hear, like you can go to like the Lou in McDonald's or something. Now we play the song playing and Dan will know the artist, the year it's come out, the album it's on, <laughs> what where it charted in its first week. Cool, don't... Put them in the comments. Give me a like a song, and I'll I'll try. Probably <laughs> probably from two thousand onwards, I would have a go. Absolutely legend. <laughs> um, so, oh. um, what is your favourite throwback song? What's your favourite like throwback to lead? What about in Derby? Throwback to lead. The old days of days of Elijah. Oh, mate, honestly, days of, it was... days of Elijah. <laughs> No, no, honestly, we used to say that in church. You used to say that, like someone would sing that. These are the days of Elijah. We say, no, they're not. <laughs> not. No, I don't know. 
So like, speaking of, you were talking about Steve earlier when you gave him a shout out and some of the stuff. I've got yeah. two video, throwback videos from him. There was um, there was a song called Holy Ghost. Right. Uh, so and I remember Steve singing. That's one of my first church memories. Holy and there's also Ghost. like, yeah, let there be joy, let there be peace, let there be power, let there be praise. Let there be joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. I don't know. It's quite, yeah, it was an MCF original. You wouldn't hear Steve talking about uh, Holy Ghost nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, um, that kind of stuff. Um, oh, there was another parody video. They did, um, like years ago, they did a parody video for This Is The Way To Amarillo. So if you find that, that is absolute gold. They, oh, it's brilliant. Um, but... Going back properly, Nettie loves like that. my favourite from that. What's that? Nettie loves that song, apparently. I've never heard Nettie. of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, my personal favourite throwback is probably Shout, Shout to the Lord. <laughs> John, mate, I thought you were going to say um, Shackles by Mary Mary then. Uh -huh. Like, your screen froze a bit, and I was like, fair play to Dad <laughs> going like, with the Mary Mary. So the Shackles are <laughs> my feet, no. and like the dance. No, shout to the Lord. I love it. I, I led it a couple of years ago. And like, it, it, it just doesn't get old with the congregation, I just don't think. Like, if you start got, doing two bars of it, place, it, it just everyone knows what it is. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah, yeah. You have to pick and choose when it comes out, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, because that, that's one of those songs that like, I think did get a bit ruined because everyone had it at their wedding. A any song that gets played over and over at a wedding with a bunch of people in yeah. a room that don't want to be worshipping is just like, it ruins it for you. Yeah, never. I know what you mean. Um, yeah. Nettie says, I remember Steve leading worship before you was both born. Yeah, probably. I mean, can't <laughs> argue with that. 95, what about you? I'm 93. 93, yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, well, I wouldn't like to say. Guys, if you've got any um, questions, uh, do let us know. Get us going in the comments. If you're just joining, I'm here with Dan Marsh, musician, blondie, don't know, just all around awesome guy. Um, what is a song that you will never get sick of leading in church? You can't say Reckless Love or Shout to the Lord. Okay. Resurrecting. I think that's a really good song just to keep going with. Your name. Your name is victory. Yeah, it's just just incredible. I just I just love, especially that uh, the fourth verse, um, where it's like uh, was buried for three days. days. Yeah, it's just for days. so powerful. And yeah, that one and probably another elevation here again. I just mm -hmm. that, so that is a brilliant one to lead, and I'll, I'll probably never get sick sick of doing that one. So, yeah. No, like resurrecting, like just being honest, is one of those songs that I absolutely love, but it's just never gone off in church. No, and some of them like, do. I, by church, I mean like at the forge, like when we've led it, I've just been like, man, this is so yeah. rich. Like the theology in it is all, it's like basically the whole gospel mm. in a song, but it's easy to get hold of. It's really singable, the rise and fall. And it's like, I don't know, it's, it's never, yeah. I don't know if it has like you've felt it go off, but. I don't know, we don't really lead it much because it's just well, a... particularly, but I but it, sometimes when you're leading, um uh, it may not feel like you're with the room them in the heart in the heart more than what you can see sometimes. Yeah, yeah isn't it? it's and like I, a bit more reflective. And I think that's one of those songs. It's like that kind of reflection song. And it's like those kind of reflections. I know, man, because like you're singing about victory, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's like declaration. It's the kind, it's the kind of ultimate Easter it. song, isn't it? It's the ultimate yeah. Easter song. I can't keep it in, man. When I'm when I'm worshiping, when I'm praising God, like yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I start <laughs> doing things that I didn't even know, like I would never do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love that one. And there's like there's I I have more that I love to keep than that I'm like nah. If, if that makes sense but yeah. there are songs that you you've always said to me like where 
you've been like, I don't know if it will work on a Sunday. You bring it, and then it really works on a Sunday. Yeah, you don't know till you know. Like, no. I reckon the blessing will really work on a Sunday, but then uh, you know that could be a total resurrecting. Like, don't really like. I can't yeah. really need the blessing, man. Um, yeah. And other songs that I like thought would be like hmm, have really like taken off, like like pray. I remember when yeah. we like, introduced pray. Gosh, what was that? Was that two years ago? Like when you came back? Two years North? ago, yeah. I was like, mm, this uh, this song's like I'm going to introduce it because we need upbeat songs in church, and it's like theologically yeah. sound. Um, but people just like really got behind that. It's it's crazy, really. Yeah. That's why I yeah, think it's like, important to constantly set our agenda aside. You know, like mm. you can't you can't bring your preference and your stuff into it. Like it has to play a bit of a part. Because it's really hard to lead a song that you don't like, um, mm. or that doesn't like suit who you are. Like, um, I don't think you could lead like, um, I don't know. Uh, like, I, I don't think I could lead Lion the Lamb. You don't I think? Don't, no. Like, stuff like, like, you that. Can, you, like you'd struggle to like lead Days, Days of Elijah well, but um, you know, probably most people now would struggle with that. Yeah, in it, in it. Um, <laughs> that's good, man. Yeah. That's good. Um, yeah. If you're if you're like in the comments and that, like, let us know what you think of resurrecting, because <laughs> yeah. we love it. If yeah, you want to do. hear it more in church, because I just think that's just one of the best songs. It's one of those songs that goes at the end of every talk as well. Like yeah. you look for those tunes, like here again. Like no, no, if you're not talk, if you're doing a sermon and that song don't fit at the end of it, your sermon's wrong. <laughs> so true it's true yeah. though isn't it yeah yeah it's very true um but i've got some strong opinions on teaching and that so i better just pipe down really actually and it's nice having 10 minute talks at church now anyways um <laughs> oh dear i'm getting a lot of amens in the comments now i'm not um, <laughs> Get your Rachel, watches ready, Rachel, um, Rachel says, shouts and Lord can go horribly wrong with the high notes. I've never experienced that, Dan, have you? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm a solid person up high, aren't I? <laughs> Sick. Um, Paul says, love the video of Ben and Finn Johnson singing Resurrecting. Yeah. yeah is yeah. the one we're talking about, Paul. He says, not sure if it's the same one, but um, yeah, that is the one we're talking about. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we did the video as well. It's like, this song's really going to like stick with the church resonate with the church um yeah that's the one we're talking about paul but i don't know yeah. people don't really seem to connect it or maybe they have maybe they have maybe it's just like one of those ones where you just can't move because the presence of god's just so strong <laughs> yeah um so mate what is your favorite single right now what are you Ooh. listening to well in fact pull up your spotify oh no you can't because you're on your phone but like what's the last what's the, what's the last like on, uh, this could be embarrassing but no i don't think so um i definitely know some that i was so there's a song um if the world was failing and falling um julie michaels do you know julie michaels um she, they're quite recent no um oh, but I've got, um, I've been listening to Breakthrough. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I know. Uh, Breakthrough, Breakthrough yeah. by Red Rocks Worship. Yeah. It's on there. It's not new, uh, but it's really good. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. Listen to a lot of Corey Asbury, 1975. Nice. Um, Very tasty. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, very in taste. Yeah, I've got loads. I've got. I'm a, I've just made a running playlist. Just like keep going. So uh, I'm not into loads of things as you know, but lots and lots. I'm quite into quite a variety of music. When I was younger, I really loved rock, and then I've kind of eased out of that now. I, I could be. Did, did you used to be like? Yeah. One of these sorts of. Oh, you. Oh, yes, definitely. I had it. I had the proper Justin Bieber mop right down like that. Oh, mate, 
That looks stunning. Yeah, it looks good in blonde. something like that. What? It looks good in blonde. Yeah, it huh. does. Um, uh, just a couple more questions in. Uh, what's a song that gets you through a hard time? Like, I think people want like isolation tunes. Like, people are struggling. What's the song that you put on uh, to get you through stuff? So, um, Christian song that gets me through. Um, no song thing, I don't think. No, but a song that has connotations like that. It's called um, "God Only Knows" by Four King and Country. Um, yeah. it's Nathan's favorite band. Yeah. So as um, if anyone says that band name, man, <laughs> always just think of him. Um, yeah. Um, I just think that I was going through a really tough time about just over a year ago, mm. and this just came up randomly on my Spotify on a radio playlist, and just like it was really speaking to me, like what he does. Uh, like God only knows what you've been through. God only knows what he what they say about you. God only knows the real truth, and it's the kind of love that God only knows. That's the chorus, and it's just that keeps resonating with me. And uh, through lockdown, that's like quite a, an emotional anthem for me. Mm. I don't know, like that's the kind of base of my faith at the moment. Like, yeah. So, yeah. Quite a powerful one for me. I don't know. Have you, have you heard that one? I don't know it. Oh, it's really good. Really good. Awesome. Well, I've only got one more question for you because it looks like you're filming this on a potato now. Your internet is like struggling. <laughs> Just about still with That's us. That's right. That's, mate, yeah. trying to do this in Suffolk. Oh, honestly, yeah. Um, I bet. I bet that someone in your house is like streaming the last dance or something. That's what I'm going to watch after this, mate. Oh Love yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what was the first song that you ever learned on guitar? That's my last question. Cause you started out on keys isn't it. Yeah. So I'm trying to think I probably, st I started learning guitar when I was 15, 16. Um, oh, really? I thought you was quite new to it. Uh, well, You've been playing I, guitar I, longer than I have. Nah, well, I say that, but I haven't really properly done it. I've done four chords for a long time, which is all you need at the moment. Um, hey, mate, you need to learn B minor. I keep telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's probably This Is Amazing Grace. Oh, classic. I think, yeah, I you think... Made it's Amazing Grace, you're sorted, man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think... That was the first one that properly got me on the way to playing guitar in that in a worship context, that kind of way in in the church setting, and the kind what of do you what I do you prefer, guitar or keys? Um, keys for playing keys. I think there's I think there's more options on playing keys. Um, it's just as I said, it's harder to lead on it. I think overall. Um, but yeah, there's nothing about, like, as I said, I think it's easy for me to lead on guitar. I think it's easy for interaction. That's why I do it. I don't know what your opinion on that is, but I think me. I think you don't lead off guitar because of interaction. I think you can't be bothered to learn how to do it off keys. That's not true. That's <laughs> not true. That's not true. No, I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, my preference is leading off guitar but i think if that was a reason then i just wouldn't lead with any instrument yeah but there are songs that i would preferably not lead on an instrument and just lead vocally like echo i would lead just vocally i think it doesn't need it, someone to lead on an instrument like that i think it depends where your band are at as well like sometimes like your instrument has to drive the band yeah but sometimes, like, if you've got, like, an MD or something, they're kind of driving the band and you're just free yeah, to do whatever, so. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's one of those things that I think whatever, like, I can play both, but I think I'm more preferable to lead off guitar. But I am... Peter Moore, he says leading from keys is more difficult. The hardest, the hardest thing that I've ever led, like, the, the hardest way I've ever led is when I was... 
I was literally, I was playing keys with my right hand and I was playing bass synth with my left hand. That's difficult. Yeah, um, that's, did you have it like on two layers? No, I had two things on. Two, two separate. I had a, yeah, like, a two things on. So safe. you're like playing it with like one this side here and one across. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Is that, is that the one that was your profile picture? Yeah, yeah I had it for a bit because I was proud of myself. <laughs> and I was running yeah. track. Ah, oh, I see. Right, okay. But yeah, I don't know. As I said, I just think, I do think it's harder. You yeah, know, no, the hard it's hard because you don't have that rhythm. Um, it, there is something about like having a physical barrier as well. Like you've got yeah. an object in front of you. Um, but then if you, you know, you'd have a music stand if you had your way. Unbelievable. Try not to, try not to. It's not just me. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. See, we, it's funny, actually. We do come at things from quite a different perspective a lot of the times, but I think maybe that's why we work well together. Yeah, I think so. I think that, I've like, I think you're kind of coming from it from the, like, the practice makes perfect kind of element and i think i i think that is a really good resource but i think that god uses us in a way i'm not saying i'm late in the lazy strategy i think that there's other things that we can do i'm i'm not lazy with my music i promise i'm uh, i just try i think there's other ways as within it if do you know what i mean yeah we always say like uh prepare like it depends on you and pray like it depends on god and i think um, exactly yeah, that's kind of the way we lead the team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And like so. that's it's that accountability levels then in both ways. Yeah. You've got yeah. the you've got the you you've got that expectation on your band to know what you're they're doing. Yeah. But then at the same time we've got we yeah. know that we've got God on our side at the same time and he will do stuff all the time. Yeah, which definitely. is really important. Definitely, like, mate, if, if it relied solely on our ability, neither of us would be here. Neither of us would, like, <laughs> no. No, no. So, mate, it's been so good to chat for you. Like, guys, if you've got any questions, um, we'll just leave it another couple of minutes. But, mate, it's been so yeah. good to speak to you and just catch up, actually, because I ain't seen yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But yeah, are you doing the Forge Isolation bacon this week? You doing any bacon? Me, I'm not actually. That is not my thing at all. But I will be receiving entries. <laughs> of course you will. Mate, last week genuinely was just absolutely outstanding. They yeah, were, well, weren't they? The entries that we had, it's crazy. Um, See, I, I fortunately, I had a test run because I've been doing a bit of bacon. And I tried to make millionaire shortbreads, right? But instead of making caramel... Oh, just the millionaire breads? Oh, oh yeah. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> You're so original. <laughs> no, anyway. Tell me if I'm funny in the comments, please, because I'm feeling a bit insecure now. I was laughing at my jokes. You're feeling insecure. <laughs> Go on, sorry. Um, your story. Yeah, no, so you... In millionaire shortbread, you have to make caramel in the middle for it. Ooh. But I ended up making too much, like, yeah, but my caramel turned into toffee. I don't know how that happened. So I put it in the fridge and I tried to break it and it just completely crunched. The shortbread was brilliant, but don't put toffee with shortbread. It just doesn't work. So toffee. I'm going to have another go. Cheers, Ray. Ray's laughing. Ray's oh. got a joke. Ray Hart. Did you see? Um, Ray, AK did, you, Elvis. did did you see him dress as Sporty Spice? More importantly, oh yes, I did. That was incredible. That was something. Oh. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining us this Music Monday. Um, we probably won't be here next week because um, it's bank holiday. Mm. Well, I I would normally do it on a bank holiday, but I'm actually um going to be on the Forge Youth instagram taking over their instagram for the big church night in oh apparently you boiled you boiled your uh, caramel for too long that's the problem thanks who was that uh karen thanks. karen austin okay. um, 
So I, I, I trust her. Um, so, yeah, because um, we as a church were supposed to be going to like big church to out uh, next weekend. Uh, yeah, depending yeah. on the account. Um, so we as a church, well, the, the youth actually are kind of like doing big church night in and I'm being a part of that. And um, so I'll be over on their Instagram for youth UK. I think it is, Dan. Do you think it is that? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Um, so yeah, we'll be singing some songs and that over there, maybe doing some interviews, depends what um, the latency is like. Um, but if I don't see you next week, I'll see you in the week. We've got stuff going on all throughout the week here. And um, Sunday, Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming around fast. What are we looking at this week? Planned it. Um, it's only doing it earlier. It's gone. Things Jesus never said. Gone. Make sure you get your cakes into me. <laughs> Thanks, Dan, for your time, mate. I'll speak to no you worries, soon. No worries, mate. See yeah, you later. see you soon. Bye.